School shootings are one reason why some parents want their kids to have their phones in school, but most school districts are now looking for ways to limit kids in their phones, and Newton is one of them. WBZ's Christina Rex is live for us in Newton tonight, and Christina, you spoke to an expert who says this is a smart move by these districts in so many ways. Yeah, it's true, David. With kids back in school this week, and especially coming out of COVID shutdowns, Phones in schools, it's a hot topic right now, and it might surprise some viewers to learn. I spoke with a researcher locally, and he says for learning, phones have no place in schools. Inside Brockton High School, phones are now locked up until freed by a teacher. The school launched the use of yonder pouches this week. The move to restrict cell phone use is growing this school year. A 2024 survey by the Pew Research Center shows that 72% of high school teachers believe phones are a major distraction in the classroom. I think it's a great idea. I think the cell phones are a distraction. In Newton, kids are expected to keep their phones off and out of sight as part of a new cell phone policy, with the district planning to roll out yonder pouches for middle schoolers this winter. The superintendent says recent times called for change. Especially post-COVID, where students were often connected to their devices all the time. And teachers have already noticed a difference in the first days of class. It's really nice to take them away from staring at their phone and get a chance to talk to them myself and have them talking to each other too. And that is the goal. We lost a lot when friend became a verb. Dr. Michael Rich is a Harvard researcher who specializes in kids and phones. Once they have a phone. Right now he's in Utah training a district launching a new phone free school day. What the research indicates is that for both the didactic learning and the social emotional learning, phones have no business in schools. If mom is in your pocket saying, how'd you do on that quiz? Do I need to talk to the teacher? Or is that kid still picking on you in the playground? You never have to resolve those issues for yourself. Dr. Rich believes the issue and consequences are imminent. We don't have the time for legislators to get this right. Kids are growing up right now, and we need to think about them as parents, as educators, and give them the best care possible right now. And with some of these new cell phone policies, there are exceptions, including for kids who might be ESL students, have learning disabilities, or need apps on their phone for medical reasons. Now, coming up, school safety is top of mind right now. What about if kids need their cell phone in the classroom to call their parents? Well, Dr. Rich's response to that might surprise you. Hear more from him coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Newton, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Yeah, this is top of mind for a lot of people. Christina, thank you.